Hey everyone, I'm Chantal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I recently went on vacation with my family. We visited Antigua and we stayed at the Royal Tan All-Inclusive Resort in Antigua. So this video is a tour and review of the hotel. So I'm going to start this video with the tour. Um, i show you all the common areas, the room um, and the beach pool area. And then after I'm gonna talk about like how the experience was and just review my stay if you're interested in seeing how my stay at the hotel went um, my last vlog captured everything so I'll link it in the description below so first we'll start with the lobby area this is the view when you check in very beautiful this is also the area where there is nightly entertainment. So there is a bar, but the bar is only open at night. And all of this seating is usually occupied during the entertainment um, at night, which is usually around 9 p.m. Through this area is reception where you check in and check out. Here's what the stage looks like. And on this side, there's guest services. Here you could book tours and excursions that happen outside of the hotel. Um, and here's also where the concierge is. If you're booking the cabanas, here's where you come to do that. And over on this side, they have an office for weddings and events. As we leave the lobby area, we come up to the cafe, which is very pretty. It's all glass, so you get to see the amazing views. The cafe is opened the longest. I think it opens around 6 and it closes at like 10.30. So you can get coffee, teas, pastries and all that good stuff throughout the day. It's also a really nice place you can come and do work if you still have to do work on vacation or you just want some quiet time. Here's a great place to do that. The cafe is really great. They have the sweetest staff and they have some great food options as well. As you can see, they have fruit, but they also have nice pastries. The donuts are really, really nice and the cupcakes. They also have ice cream here and they have a soft serve machine as well. As you leave the coffee shop, you come up on this really great seating area. During the day, it's really hot and there's usually not anyone there. But as the sun starts to go down, it's a really, really nice place to come and sit out. Here we have one of the two gift shops. The other gift shop is on the beach and this one is right by the eating area. So I'm going to show you the kind of things they have inside.
Up next, we have two of the restaurants and the buffet. So the two restaurants they have here are the sports bar, which is also open throughout the day and later into the night, the steakhouse, and then the regular buffet where you can get all your food. So this is the first restaurant, the sports bar. The name of this restaurant is called Score. They sell things like wings, tacos, bar food basically. You could probably get burgers and stuff there. We did go one night and I'll tell you about that later on in the video. Up next is the steakhouse. If you're a Diamond Club member, you get preference with seating. If you, you just show up to this restaurant. If you're not a Diamond Club member, you just have to wait until a seat is available. It was really popular and sometimes the wait could be as much as 45 minutes. Um, we did not try this restaurant, but it looks like it was a pretty good option. And then the last place to eat on this trip was the Gourmet Marché, which is the regular buffet where they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. So this is what the inside looks like. Um, you could either be seated inside or outside. Most times we did outside and there was also a nice little outdoor area in here But this is what the general area looks like. They had a kiddie station over here and then they also had a place for desserts um, This was breakfast time. So this is basically how it was set up Oh, I did forget there's this place called the Culinary Experience where you can book like a fancy dinner for you and your partner or you and your family. They have a very exclusive menu and drinks list. So this was also an option. After here, um, we are heading to the rooms. This hotel had a lot of washrooms outside, which was really nice. Um, over in this area, when you go up these stairs, there was a spa which we didn't go to but if you're interested this is where the spa is and they would usually have a little trolley out i guess telling you the different services they offer so as you walk down the walkway to the elevators there are some of the rooms here that have these swim up pools outside the rooms so the rooms on the ground floor have these swim up pools um we were on the opposite side we don't have a lake or beach view um, but if you were to get one of these swimmer pools, there's this side and then there's another side you'll see a little later on. So this is the walkway to the elevators, but on this side they have a lounge for the Diamond Club members. Then they also have this little bulletin board that tells you all the different activities happening at the hotel and they separate it by kids, teens, etc. And then these are the doors that lead to the elevators that go up to the different floors. I think there was about nine floors in this hotel. So here's a tour of the rooms. Now you didn't have a key card for this hotel. You had a wristband that had a little card on it and that's what you use to get into the rooms. I think a lot of all inclusives have this feature now, which is really nice. You don't have to have a card with you. So this is how the room is set up. I shared a room with my sister. We both had full beds, very, very comfortable beds and a very spacious room. Um, the beds also had these little seats at the, I forget what the name of these seats are, um, at the base, which we use for our shoes, etc. And in the middle, they had the phone, um, this little keypad, which you use to regulate the temperature of the room and the fan as well. They also had this nice little reading light um, for both sides of the bed. And like I said before, we didn't have a beachfront view. We had a view of the mountains in the back, which was fine. And outside we had chairs and a rack to dry our stuff. They also had a nice love seat here and the TV, which was okay. I don't really watch TV that much, but if you do, I think it had some okay options. Um, and a nice little table. They had a lot of closet and drawer space, which was really nice. Um, and it came with a nice kettle, tea, coffee, the regular stuff. 
my sister and I had space to put all our things and it also came with a steamer which was very very nice Um, they also had extra towels, blankets up there, and a lot of hangers because I brought a lot of dresses. They had a lot of drawers. I don't think we used all the drawers because they had so many. They had his and hers sinks, so my sister and I had our own sinks, which was really, really nice. And a really nice big mirror. Um, the toilet was separate from the entire bathroom, I guess. Um, and then the shower was huge. Um, the shower had two shower heads. I guess you could sit and use one shower head or stand and use the other. Really nice hot shower and just lots of space generally. Okay, let's get back to the rest of the hotel. So this is the pathway that leads to the beach and the pool. They have these little buggies that um, take you to and from your room when you're checking in and checking out, which is nice. Um, here you can get a better view of the swim up rooms. So the first thing they have here is the teens club. It's just a alignment spot for teens. Um, they have games. I'm guessing they have like a little cooler with drinks. But it's just a nice place for the teens to hang out. Maybe make some friends while on vacation. And right next to the teens club is a little play park for kids. And opposite that is the pool area where the babies and toddlers and smaller children can play we came at a time when there weren't a lot of kids but it did look like a really fun area it's a very shallow pool probably less than a foot um has cute slides and it has a lot of seating for parents lots of shade as well so it's just a really really cute area Now for the amazing pool and beach area. So they had two big pools. One pool had the swim up bar and along this side are all the cabanas which you'll get a tour of as well. The beach was very quiet um, and generally this is what it looked like every single day. There was also a lot of seating on the beach. I'm going to show you the beach in just a little bit. We rented the cabana for two days so here is a tour of the area each cabana has three lounge chairs and a little lining pool they usually come on at 10 um, a.m. and you can stay in the cabana until 6 p.m. the cabana also comes with a television and a sofa and in this little um, cubby, which was locked at the time, there's a mini fridge and it's just storage for your bags and that kind of stuff. They usually stock the fridge with fresh fruit and drinks um, before you come. There's a ceiling fan, which really doesn't do anything, but this is the view from the cabana. And like I said, it comes on at 10 a.m. So you'll see in a bit how that comes on. So it looks like a jacuzzi but it's not, it's cold um, which is nice and they have really nice vents so we really enjoyed this little plunge pool. With the cabana you also get butler service so they come take your drink order and they go to the bar for you and bring it back. 
if you don't want to go to the buffet for food there is a menu and it's just wings burgers fries that kind of bar food as well they will um, take your order and bring for you um, you don't need to go over to the bar at all which is nice and there's also towels stocked there for you as well so you can really just relax here all day Over where I'm pointing is where you get your towels and then also they have a second gift shop. Basically the same type of merchandise, beachwear, that kind of thing. So this is what down by the beach looks like. Um, there are showers so you can wash your sand off before you go back into the pool. There's an outdoor massage area. I guess you can book that in advance also where you would book the cabanas. There's tons of seating on the beach as you can see here. As you can see the water here is magical it's definitely in my top five so calm and this is what it looked like most days there was one day that it rained but generally this is what it looked like there were two other restaurants on the beach there was an Italian restaurant that we had buffet food at one of the days this is what I had for the buffet not for the Italian restaurant but this is the view from that restaurant and then there's also a Caribbean spot that we did go to one night um, the food here was really great um, but those are the two restaurants on the beach okay now time for the review so i would say generally this was a very good stay we had a really enjoyable week we i think we went at a really great time we visited f the first week in september from the first to the eighth so a full week um the reason we chose to spend a week is because i'm from trinidad and with how the flights were set up uh, we either had to go from like a friday to a tuesday or just spend an entire week because there were two flights every week um, or non-stop or something like that um, and we chose a non-stop flight that I think went weekly something like that so we ended up spending a full seven days which I think was enough like we were able to go downtown we were able to do all the things we were able to really relax so I think that was a good amount of time and the time that we chose to go we kind of arrived when everyone was leaving so a lot of the week was very quiet um not a lot of noise just like very tranquil and so if you look at my vlog you'll realize how quiet the resort was at that time so if you're looking for like the perfect quiet time to go early september is definitely the time i would say generally the hotel was very well maintained um it was very pretty and picturesque and very serene i think they do a great job of keeping the grounds very clean and well manicured I don't know about anyone else but the room is very important um, because especially when you're going on a vacation where you sleep a lot um, the bed and the bedroom is very important this room I thought was very spacious my sister and I shared a room we both had um, queen beds I think it was queen beds um, and it was a very comfortable sleep um, the room itself was just really really nice very spacious lots of closet and drawer space the shower was also really good if you're like me and you like hot showers like perfect like the water got boiling hot so that was also really nice um so i have no complaints when it comes to the room i think the room was really really nice the next thing was the beach pool area of course this part is very very important um i think the beach was literally perfect um very quiet and <coughs> Oh, sorry. 
anyway i think the beach was very nice um very calm and didn't have a lot of waves if you like water sports it will also be really good like paddle boarding kayaking it's the water for that like not a lot of waves um crystal clear water you can see all the way to the bottom um if you want to just like have your drink and just relax in the water that the beach was very much for that uh, the pool was also nice i think we may have spent more time in the beach than the pool i'm not really sure um but they were both really nice um and then because we were also there at a time when the entire resort was very quiet the pool was also very quiet um and they would have people coming around taking your drink orders um so you didn't have to always go to the bar sometimes you had to and it might have been a wait depending on how many people were there but generally the pool and the beach area were great okay on to the food which i think is one of the biggest categories when you go to an all-inclusive right they did have a lot of variety of course as you saw in the tour they had a cafe and the cafe had like little desserts things like that and ice cream and i think they had a soft serve machine which didn't work halfway through but you know it's there yeah? um and the coffees were also really really good they have all the milk substitutes and i think i would say that the customer service was best at the cafe like super friendly um just like really nice ladies like work there um so if you know you still have to get work done even if you're on vacation it is a nice place to go to um and yeah like i said the coffee is also really great um they had a number of restaurants that you could go to so we did do mainly did the buffet um section which i'll talk about in a little bit sports bar was the first place that we went to um we actually only went because that night i don't know if it's because there w there weren't a lot of people at the resort they didn't have the whole buffet open so you had to choose the other restaurants to go to so we ended up going to the sports bar and honestly wasn't great um the wait was very long for the food um and the food also wasn't good i think i had wings and the wings weren't bad but my sister had brisket and it ended up just being steak with barbecue sauce on it um i don't think we had soup and the soup was salty things like that so the sports bar wasn't that great i don't know if it was just that night or what so the sports bar is the one place i think i wouldn't recommend food wise just because the food across the board was good the other restaurant that we did go to was the Caribbean restaurant and we only went on the last night, which we kind of regretted because the food was really, really good at the Caribbean restaurant. I had fish, my mom had jerk chicken, my sister had surf and turf, and my other sister had jerk as well. And we all really, really enjoyed everything, the appetizers and the main course. Um, so that restaurant was really good. There's also an Italian restaurant um, and a steakhouse, which we didn't get to go to. Um, but the steakhouse was very popular, so I'm guessing that the food was good. So the main buffet, um, breakfast was usually from like 7, 7.30 to like 11.30 or something like that, or 10.30. And then lunch was from 12.30 to about 2.33, 2.30, 3pm. Um, and then dinner usually started around 6ish um so breakfast was always good like i had the omelette almost every day um and you could see that in my vlog like i had the omelette almost every day it was made fresh which i like um they had a lot of options food wise for breakfast lunch and dinner um i think because i'm from the caribbean they had a lot of caribbean options so they would have oxtails you know they had um like they had a jamaica night um so they had a lot of really good food options which i really enjoyed you know when you're eating so much on vacation after a while you get tired of the food but i think it's just because we were there for long um but the food was really good 10 out of 10 like i don't have a problem with the food itself um there was a salad bar as well there was a dessert bar there was a little kiddie section so um there was variety and i think everyone well, I can't speak for anybody else. Just for me and my family, we enjoyed the food. We felt like there was enough options. So my only critique, I think, of maybe the entire hotel would be the flies. 
So at dinner time, this wasn't an issue, but for breakfast and lunch, I felt like there were, not I felt like there were a lot of flies, like where you would sit to eat. So thankfully, the flies weren't inside where the actual food was being kept, like the buffet part, but where we had to sit down outside, um, there were a lot of flies. There was inside seating as well, which to us didn't really make sense because there was no AC inside, so it was just hotter. So a lot of people sat outside mostly because it was breezy and nice, but breakfast and lunch, yeah, flies. And we, I, by the pool, I had spoken to some of the other guests about it, and some people didn't even notice it, while some other people did. So for us, we didn't like the flies. Um, because we used to take turns like going for food just to make sure that the flies wouldn't sit on anybody's food or anybody's glasses. Um, that would be my only problem with literally the entire hotel is that fly problem. Um, so it was in the buffet part and then also in the cafe during the day, um, there would be a lot of flies. And I think with the cafe, it was because people would come into the cafe and leave the door wide open and not close it. So the flies would come in and the entire cafe was glass like you saw before so the flies would have a hard time getting out and you know them could never find their way out so the cafe had flies and then breakfast and lunch usually had flies there were days that they, it wasn't as bad as others but generally i would say every day there were flies like where you had to eat which is kind of annoying and flies are flies you know um so i said that would be my one like critique of the entire hotel um in terms of customer service i think the customer service was good across the board um check-in was friendly um there were some parts that were more friendly than others like i said before the cafe like the ladies at the cafe were really really nice um the people at the buffet were okay like they weren't like the friendliest at least to us um but it didn't really make things worse you know um, but I do think like they could be a little friendlier in certain areas the day that we went it had one day we went for lunch at the Italian restaurant they moved the buffet to the Italian restaurant the staff on that side seemed way friendlier than the regular staff at the buffet um, but generally it was okay um, the people by the pool who would take your order um, Take your drink order they were also nice um but yes customer service was just okay and i think the last thing i will talk about is the cabana so we rented the cabana for 120 dollars a day my sister actually that was like her treat to us so she paid for that um the first day it was great it was a sunny day um we spent most of the day out there actually i was the only one that left to go take a nap everyone else stayed out for the entire day it was nice having like a nice little space they brought drinks to you um i think they maybe could have been a little bit better with keeping up with coming back and forth to the cabana um but that first day it was a sunday it was good it was nice the weather was great it was a perfect day for cabana but then the next day we had it i think was a wednesday it rained a lot that day my mom and one of my sisters didn't really spend a lot of time in the cabana that day um, and my sister and I um, still went, even though it was raining, obviously, because we paid for it. Um, that day, too, they didn't have anybody come in regularly to get drink orders and stuff at the cabana. Um, so that was kind of a letdown. Um, and then the rain is the weather that really like ruined that particular day for us. Um, or the flies thing I mentioned before, there were also flies at the cabana, too which was random because that wasn't really a food area. Um, so the flights kind of followed us there. Um, they brought food to you if you wanted. It was more bar food like wings and fries. Um, the first day we did have it, but then the next day that we had the cabana, we just went to the regular buffet because we didn't want the bar food that day. 
um, but they do bring food for you there so that's included in that price there's a TV and everything so if you go for an extended period of time I would say to get it maybe for one day um, and see if you like it and if you absolutely love it then maybe like try to get another day but I think we could have just done one day and be okay because the second half of our trip was so quiet that the pool area had so many places to sit um, I mean the private pool was nice but the actual pool was kind of comparable um, when you really when I really look at it it was kind of comparable so I think that's basically it for my review um, I would say I would definitely go back again um, I might try a royal ton in a different Caribbean island and see how that um, is but if you've never been I would say it's still a nice hotel to go to is it too dark now Sorry y'all, I was in the dark. <laughs> so I would say my family and I have been to quite a bit of all-inclusive hotels. So I think we usually judge things based on other hotels. And some of our favorite hotels has been Barcelo Bavaro in Punta Cana. Um, that one is a huge all-inclusive. I think it's, it's a lot bigger than this one. Um, but I think this hotel was really nice. I don't think there were a lot of things that went wrong or anything so um, generally I think we had a good time um, with the exception of just a few things so I would recommend this hotel I think out of five I would give it a four that's good that's really good actually yeah that's my review of the hotel I hope this helps if you're visiting um, if some of the things you could look out for or I guess see in the hotel might be nice before actually visiting um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you want to see my vlog, I actually have two vlogs, my first day there and then the full week there. So I'll link those below if you want to look at them. And I hope you enjoyed. You could give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.